Hi lovies, thank you so much for joining me here today. So we're going to be doing a reading looking at how the person on your mind is thinking and feeling about you at this time. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll just jump into it. If you'd like a personal reading as well, the details of how to book me are below in the description box and just remember anyone that adds you and reaches out to you on things are scammers okay so maybe we're just too different <laughs> but even so my heart is telling me just do it i kind of feel what the phrase i just heard is crisis and confidence so i feel that this person is someone who Maybe even comes across as quite confident and um, arrogant at times that they're actually somebody quite fragile, insecure, they kind of doubt themselves a lot. I think they think you are too good for them at times, but their heart is trying to get them to just take the plunge with this connection. I'm reminded of you constantly. So I'm guessing there is some kind of distance between the two of you right now for them to have that kind of time apart to miss you. Um, you can be kind of in contact with this person like sporadically maybe even, but it's just any time that you are apart, they are always thinking of you, you're always on their mind. Quite a kind of obsessive um, energy but yeah if you're not in contact at all at the moment just know that they are thinking about you very much and I just feel like because there's just kind of um it's like a tug of energy almost with them it's like really wanting to reach out and go for this connection but then sort of having this crisis of am I you know, good enough for you, almost like I feel they think they don't want to make your life worse in any kind of way, if that makes sense, or some kind of feeling of they don't want to like drag you down. Um, yes, okay, so you are apart at the moment. Being apart has been life changing for me, okay, so they are getting a different kind of perspective on things during this time apart between the two of you um, a lot of time to kind of think and reassess um, things between the two of you but they, they are still very much feeling this urge to to reach out and to make moves with you their heart just keeps telling them to do it so let's have a look at their heart space just now Okay, that chemistry, that came out the other day actually. Chemistry, spark, passion, desire. Poo. This person obsesses over you. They are very passionate about you. There is that intense flame still burning here. Oh my God, literally what I've said, I mean, about this kind of, it's like a tug of war almost. Um between them really wanting to um, reach out to you and make moves and things, but being very scared and guarded and thinking, oh, maybe, you know, I'm just, I'm just not good enough. Maybe I would make your life worse in some kind of way. So they're guarded, cautious, afraid. Oh, very frustrating for them as well as you. Like, um... They're, in, they're really kind of in two minds about what to do. They know what their heart is telling them to do. But then this kind of self-doubt comes in. I don't know. I just heard the word self-loathing. I think this person's really quite hard on themselves. Um, maybe even telling themselves like awful things like they're a piece of shit or something. You know, this is, this is someone who is hard on themselves. Oh, it came flying out here. 
unconditional, innocent support and whole heart. I feel like they struggle to kind of let let their whole kind of heart into this connection at times um, because they are so guarded. Um, and yet they know that you, you give them unconditional love. They know that they can... They are safe with you, but they still are a very kind of cautious person. Okay, tension. So there is this tension here between the two of you. Tension, turbul turbulence, arguments, and stress. Mm. So I kind of feel like, um, I'm feeling like hot and cold, kind of in and out energy in this connection from this person is because they really do have the hots for you and they feel so much for you but then the cold sets in they get you know um the fear sets in and they kind of maybe back off and that has caused a lot of tension um tension here and stress and arguments and um yeah they're kind of annoyed at themselves i feel like too let's get one more Well, that didn't quite come out. Let's do that again. <clears throat> okay, so we've got consequences, karma, destiny, cause and effect. Mm, I'm letting go. Releasing, walking away, moving on. <sighs> okay. So I feel I've got rejection under that. Okay. They do really want this, but I kind of feel like they feel like you may be moving on from this, letting go, because you're getting fed up with this kind of hot and cold energy and, and never really quite starting this connection properly, it sort of feels like. Um they're worried about that, okay. Almost as well, like they have arguments back and forth in their own head, like, oh, I'll reach out, I'll, I'll um, you know, I'll offer commitment, I'll move things forward. And then this, this kind of self-doubt comes in as well. But they feel you're letting go, you may be moving on. So they feel that kind of energetic shift. Let's get some tarot on this, letting go. Wheel of Fortune. So that's Destiny twice here. Hmm. They feel like you are their destiny, but it's like they almost kind of feel that, that slipping away. This chance, this big, um, big positive in their lives. They kind of feel like it, it is slipping away. I Priestess, yeah. Like you're very um, secretive almost at the moment. Like you're you're very guarded yourself, um, and you're not, not really giving much energy to this person. They feel like kind of shift. And it's making them want to come run in in here, you know, this chemistry they feel for you. And just, um, hmm, you know, moving in fast before they lose this. I kind of feel like they feel you slipping away. And it could be that they're now feeling what you felt before, like them kind of going cold and, and backing off and moving away, that you're giving that energy to them back and they're, they're feeling what you felt type thing. Okay, let's get a couple of more cards on the outcome of this. What's the outcome here between you and this person? <laughs> Queen of Swords, yeah. Okay, let's get another card. But you, you are very kind of, you may like,
be willing to hear this person out, but you're not going to make it easy. You're very guarded. You you have just totally pulled your energy back at the moment, I feel. Because, you know, you're trying to protect yourself. Uh, Queen of Pentacles as well. Hmm. Whatever you're doing just now in your life, I feel like even work and things as well um you're gonna get a lot of prosper uh, prosperity sorry in in your life uh i feel like you're just kind of sitting pretty just now like you're you're very kind of queen of swords queen of pentacles like I feel like this person doing all the chasing put it that way I feel like you've really pulled yourself back and you're sitting in this energy of, okay, well, maybe I will hear this person out, but I'm certainly not chasing or making any moves. Nine of Wands. <laughs> this person's so afraid of getting rejected. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Get that flicked out, we'll take that as well. And mm, temperance. I feel like there's some kind of divine timing at play. Uh, almost like this will be worth the wait if this is what you want. Like there's more balance coming into this connection. This person's more willing to to work on things and move through this kind of um this kind of energy of like one foot in and one foot out <laughs> literally with the with the water here um i feel them moving through that uh because they know it's holding them back in this connection that's that's what the kind of the issues are here so i feel like there's more balance coming into this connection to this person um you know, and they want to work on things with you. They're going to be more in a stable energy to to do that. Okay. You've had a hell of a lot of patience here. Some of you, your patience may be starting to run out. And I just feel this person feels that, you know. Feels you slipping away. But it's going to make them, whoa. It's going to make them <laughs> come running in here. Look, we've got... Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is quite eminent energy, actually, obviously, with two aces. This is someone, yeah, like I said, kind of moving through that guarded fear energy to try and rebuild this and, and offer you more and offer you their whole heart. Like we were saying earlier, make that Dec Dec the word. Make that, declare their love to you, you know, and um, make that statement, but also offer you something really tangible, okay? This can be like engagements and moving in together, really solid commitment, but I feel like it's something that you've never had here before because it was always kind of false starts with this person, but this is like, okay, I'm going to offer you my whole heart, and I'm going to offer you some solid commitment here. So I hope that helped you today, guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, also, guys, leave me comments. I like to read them all. Try and respond to as many as I can. It really helps the video too. Um, and I will speak to you soon. Have a great weekend.